Today I'm building a skate park in Bloxburg. So last week I built this incredible water park and you guys loved it. So when Pro Giger Chad Gaming recommended I build a skate park, I couldn't resist. Because your wish is Mark Man. And at the end, I'm inviting all you guys in to play. Let's name this Skate Park. More like Skatey Perry. Yes. Rip my money. Subscribe. You guys know the drill by now. I've got this confusing layout. Not even Einstein would understand this. We're going to have huge ramps here, double ramps here, underground ramps here, the whole shebang. And I want to start off with just a kind of a simple ramp, kind of get my bearings. And today I've got to unleash the custom in me to build these ramps. And this one right here, the convict, con kill good. This looks like a ramp in itself. So I wonder if this save us a bit of time. No way, Jose. I thought it was going to take yonks, mate. This is going to be much easier than I thought. Let's just make it a little bit brighter. <gasps> I'm going to want to bring it forward a little bit because we don't want it smack bang at the edge of our little outline. Oh my gosh, this kind of looks like... Y -M -C -M. Anyway, for this middle bit here, we could kind of just put a little bit of floor. <laughs> Life hack. <laughs> Next up is the back part where you actually like stand to mentally prepare yourself. This is big and chunky. Oh my gosh, D guys, do not tell me that this does not look like a little skate ramp. It kind of looks like a shoe. Don't judge me too early, guys. I just know this is going to be the best little resort ever. All right, so skate parks, as cute and aesthetic as they may seem, like a little fairy, they're dangerous. Get this warning out here. Caution, caution. No, they're not that dangerous, but you still got to have precautions in place, like railings. Otherwise, you're just going to have so many accidents, you'll probably get shut down. These railings are so tall, you know? You have to be like an ant for this to stop you. And I don't know about you, but I get a little bit OCD about things like this. The fact that it's just floating. In is really upsetting me. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to simply be adding some sort of thin slender man pillar. And that, that just makes it look so much better. Oh my God, this skate park's on fire. <laughs> I love how excited I am already. We've literally not even built the first ramp yet. Also, side note, skaters have the best outfits. I kind of dress like a skater boy in real life. And in Bloxburg, look, I tried to look a bit swaggy. I'm like, yo, dude, you wanna go for a ride? I haven't got a tattoo. It took me a hot second to work out what texture looked best, but I'm personally feeling like the slip. And notice how I'm going for a mixture of realistic textures and playful textures. But we need to get out the main character, the skateboard. I only have one, so it looks like we're going to probably be buying a couple more. $200? To be fair, that's actually not that bad. I can't wait to try that out. So I don't really know what else goes on a ramp. I think we should look it up. Ooh. Thanks for oh! Siri, no one asks how you are. You don't have any friends. As you can see, the ramps mainly seemed plain, but they kind of had like a cool wall on them. So I might incorporate this and we can have like a graffitied wall. Oh, and fun fact, by the way, if you don't know how to get rid of the grid, press H. I'm obsessed with it. It's so cool, isn't it? Pillar time. These pillars are so perfect. And then we're going to search up decal. And these are already kind of graffitis. I mean, I'm not going to leave it like that. Is this basic hour? You're basic. <laughs> Okay, guys, we've got our three pieces of graffiti. I haven't actually read them yet. Hopefully, it's not rude. So, this one says Z Zeb Zebra. <laughs> Mate, it's like impossible to read. I feel like that kind of looks cool. Like, I'm a cool mom. Mom, um, I'm a cool mom. We all know what this back bit is here, people. This is where everyone's going for a little make out sesh. <laughs> Every skate park has that little behind bit where people go. Behind here to sort of add to like the romance, <laughs> we can add trash bags. What's more romantic than a bunch of stinking bags of rubbish? Stop it getting a bit shadowy under there. We're going to put some light. So, this is kind of like our first main bit done. I feel like I don't know what to else to add to it here. However, if you came to this video for detail, that is exactly what you're about to get here. I'm going to be making some little plants. Skate parks are normally in public parks, hence the name. So the greenery is always on fleek. And um, if you're wondering what that... <laughs> 
<laughs> if you're wondering what that noise is, I'm just having a little snack. Guys, well, I'm gonna think I'm crazy, but basically I'm eating ham with crackers and jam. Don't unsubscribe, guys, okay? Each to their own. We're all special. And just look, my, my building skills make up for it. Look at this plant. The, tr the super fans of the channel may notice this actually comes from my mall and I love it so much. I just thought I'd use it here. You want to make sure it's kind of vibey and illuminating. So we'll add a couple floor lights and the best fit. 10,000. I can never understand why these are so expensive. I'm giving in. I'm giving in. Farewell, million dollars. Farewell. We need to say goodbye. I'm not going to lie. These crackers are so good. Mmm, so good and tasty. Let's go buy ourselves some lentil crackers. And I'm still so excited, guys, to do that underground ramp. I think we might go there next. But first, we ain't done with this little pavement bit yet. No, no. We're going to get the new table. I feel like these are kind of a perfect match for the skate park. We match them in with, like, these park benches. It's kind of a look. It's kind of a look. Next up is the hole. I don't know what our name should be for it, because they normally name them pretty cool things. This is just called the hole. So I don't really know how we're going to do this. I guess just in a similar fashion. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. This might turn a little messy. It kind of works. It kind of looks, like, layered and <laughs> nice, right? Criminal offensive. Side uh, this is a little bit harder than I first anticipated, but you know, I'm a survivor. Other people have done this in Bloxburg. How is theirs so neat? Do you know what? I I've been looking at this from the wrong angle. Let's get rid of these big daddy ones. I don't know who this picture came from. Fawzy Tube. Credits to Fawzy Tube. We just have to start off with walls first and use smaller basic shapes. <laughs> Guys, I was looking so forward to having my chocolate biscuit and it fell on the floor. This is literally my last straw. Okay, I know what you're probably thinking. This looks like a volcano gone wrong. But here is where we're gonna like kind of pull it back with those walls. We just like kind of patch it up, give it a little bit of band-aid. For the most part, I think it kind of looks okay. Obviously, it's nothing compared to that other guys. But I reckon this is actually doable. Like if you go up these ramps and you've got that one. But other than that, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm a happy bunny. I'm a happy boonay. And also, I've changed my mind on those basic fences we had at the front. I was thinking we could still use them, but why not incorporate them with some brick ones? Uh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Maybe I should take a little break from those crackers. On a serious note, though, I think those fences have actually really helped elevate this. There's a little bit of Illuminati going on over here, but other than that, this looks cool. Make it a little bit more scenic. We'll have a couple more of these tables. I personally wouldn't want to sit here if a skater is about to go, wee! It just bang! Gate parks are really vibey at night. Have any of you seen the viral video of those girls on top of like a skate park like this? Hey guys, I finally went to Walmart. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, it just looks so vibey at night. Skate park's not just for skateboards. It's for roller skates. I actually have forgotten that. Again, with the skateboards down here, we're of course going to need some. And I made a rookie error here, guys, not decorating the table before I copy and pasted it. Skate park food is superior, by the way. If you've ever had, like, um, a hot dog, they taste so blimmin' scrumptious. Next up, speaking of all that food, has made me hungry. So it's time for the little food hut. So I was thinking about making a food truck, but I've already made one of them and it <laughs> didn't really turn out too well. We are going to have wheels. They're kind of going to be for decoration. And a suburban roof. Oh, that is nice. Different Different than than usual. Usual. And thanks to the new update, actually, we have these really cool drive through windows, which we never had before. And we need a door for Katie to walk in. And yes, Katie Perry's going to work here, guys. Okay. I'll pay her all of my life savings. We won't make it too big. We'll just give them the essentials, like a trash can. And of course some of these commercial counters i'm an american guys i've been faking my british accent all these months can you imagine if i'd actually been doing that make this pretty simple you know katie can sit here please have a cash register please lord please lord oh we have two the perfect amount. I've been feeling cute and fresh lately, so I'm thinking about adding flowers, maybe these pretty sunflowers. And I always like to add a takeaway bag so they can like eat on the job because I'm literally eating right now. And we'll also add a TV so they can like watch TV on the job. I've just worked out who can be our second celebrity waiter. You all know who I'm gonna say. 
It's just Gobby Gordon. He is my crush. Oh, he's so handsome and kind of scary from that angle. And we'll continue that kind of cute Mary Poppins vibe with these flowers. Brown paper packages tied up with string. Oh my gosh, our food truck's perfect. So many of you guys said I should build an underwater cafe. I'm not going to do that here because I feel like that doesn't make any sense. Imagine I was just like, yeah, guys, let's just have a big cafe. But if you want me to build an underwater cafe, just let me know. But we are going to make this like pretty cute. I don't know about you, but skaters remind me of a very vintage vibe. And also I always do tables of two. So it can be like a little date. And secretly, this is just my way of getting Gordon to ask me on a date. So hopefully one day at work. And I like how this started as a skate park and we're turning it into like a whole resort. Oh my gosh. Now everything is uneven. <laughs> Let me fix this real quick. We have got two more spots, but I've actually changed my mind on this one here. This area should be a mini aqua park. You might be thinking, what the hell is an aqua park? It's basically a miniature version of a water park for like toddlers and stuff. They're in a lot of British towns. Half of it will be so shallow, it's basically floor. Over here we'll have like the little dinghies and stuff. Life hack, when building underwater, if you can, put walls in and colour these walls and it will just make it look all a little bit more seamless. So I suppose we can even have like a little water slide going on here. Nothing too crazy, don't get me wrong, but something that's just enough. So we'll have to start up here on this pillar. That looks so safe and secure, guys. Oh my gosh, a loop the loop might actually work. Oh my gosh. I always doubt myself too early, guys. Never doubt yourself. Let me just remove that middle one. Jeez, I forgot how expensive that was. I wasn't even looking at my molar. You can see it's safe. It kind of looks like a little squashy. Oh yeah, I'm happy with that. There's always going to be those people who are in the pool, so we'll add some floaties. Even this nine grand one. The epic dog is coming. To finish this area off, we're gonna use short fences. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, the demon drop slide ramp. So we all thought that the first one was big. Well, this one is gonna be double the width and double the height. That just looks so dangerous. <laughs> well, cause I'm actually praying for whoever goes on that, okay? Uh, don't sue me if you break your leg. At the bottom to like sort of soften the blow of them falling. We're gonna add like a little fun trampoline. For that final push, we're gonna add a bunch of trees. Bada bing, bada boom, the skate park is done, my dudes. And it's time for me to invite all of my skater friends in. So just before we do an in-depth tour, here are just some overview shots. And honestly, this place looks brilliant. Okay, guys, here we are with some friends. And oh my gosh, skinny legend over here. Is that her house? Jesus, Barbie is rocking up. So guys, the first part of our little skate park is obviously the big double ramp. So we need to try it out and imagine this didn't work. Come on. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, it kind of works, you know. Let's try it with roller skates. Let's see if this gives you a bit more power. Let's see if it works on this here. Oh, it even works on here. Let's do some skills. There's a toddler in here. Be careful, guys. If we take the skates off for a minute, we obviously have like the little seating areas and stuff. And the food you'd actually get is from here. And, oh, and I, oh, I forgot Gordon was in there then. That actually really scared me. I may or may not have forgotten lights. A bit like a demonic in here, but you still kind of get the gist. And also just a little shout out mention to these plants. We actually have the aqua park and I'm dying to try out this slide. I wonder if it will actually work because it's quite a weird shape. Oh, oh, we're all going down. Whee! And guys, it, it's time. You've all been waiting for who is ready for the demon drop slide. Woo! Oh my gosh, my twin over here. This looks like me in Alaska if we had a baby, doesn't it? Hopefully all of you guys enjoyed this video. It's just something a little bit different. Make sure to subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you all next time.